How's it going everyone? My name is Chips and in this video I'll be showing you how to build this Viking workshop that you see in front of you now. For those of you that are new to the channel, this is going to be a step-by-step walkthrough video with voiced over instructions so you can get this build on your arc. And as you can see on the screen right now is a full list of building materials you will need for this build as well as the map cords where I built this on Fjordr. Now you can also find all of this information in the description below if you would like to quickly copy and paste it over to your own device. But anyways, with all of that said, I just want to tell you all thank you so much for being here today, checking out this video, and let's go ahead and let's get to building. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is lay out the foundation for our build. So as you can see, I've already placed one stone foundation. We'll come to the right of that and add three more. Now we're going to go ahead and add three more rows of four in behind this row. Next, we're going to come over here to the side of this foundation and place a wooden triangle foundation like this and add one more right here. Now coming out from the one we just placed, we will add five more stone foundations. Go ahead and place two more rows behind that. Now you can go ahead and pick up those wooden triangle foundations. Now we're going to get out a stone ceiling and hang it off of that foundation we just placed so that it overhangs the original foundation a little bit. Add two more right here. We're going to go ahead over here to this side of our build and do the same thing. Place your wooden triangle foundation, add one more, and just continue repeating that process. Now lastly, we're going to come to this side, the outside portion over here, and we're going to add four more stone foundations starting right here. And we'll do the same thing over here on the other side. Once you have those placed, go ahead and switch all of these stone foundations to block. Next, we'll add some pillars to the square portion here. So what we're gonna do is come in right here to this corner and place a wooden fence foundation on the stone foundation like this. And now we're gonna add seven high stone pillars to this corner. We'll go ahead and do this on the other three corners of this section as well. Next, we'll add pillars to our two side portions. Starting off here on one of our ends, we're going to place a wooden fence foundation right here on the edge of this stone foundation. On the outside corner, we're going to add one stone pillar. And on this inside snap point, we'll add a stone pillar followed by a wooden pillar. We'll do the same thing right here on this foundation. We're gonna go ahead over here to our other end and repeat this process. Now we're going to come over here to one of our sides and place another wooden fence foundation right here on the side of this foundation. On this inside corner, we're going to add a stone pillar followed by two wooden pillars. And on this outside snap point, we're going to add one stone pillar. We're going to come over here and do the same thing right here. And we'll go ahead to the other side and repeat this process over here. Next, if you're facing like this from the inside of our build, we're gonna head to our foundation that is on the right side, so over here. And on this first stone foundation next to the stone ceiling, we're going to place a wooden fence foundation. And right here, we're going to add one stone pillar. We're gonna come over here and on the second stone foundation, place another wooden fence foundation. 
and right here we will place another stone pillar. Alright, next we're going to come in here where we have one of these gaps. We're going to go ahead and place a thatch ceiling just like this. We're going to go ahead around here to the other side where we have that same gap and do the same thing. And now we're going to head to this inside corner of our build right here. We'll place a thatch ceiling like this and we'll also place one right here like this. Next we're going to come right here in line with this tall pillar and get out a stone wall. And you'll notice there are two snap points right here. There's one that's closer to us and one that's further away. You want to make sure you get this one that is closer to us. So to do that, you may need to rotate the snap point using whichever key or button is appropriate for your system and go ahead and place that down. Now we're going to turn right here where we have the thatch ceiling and get out another stone wall and you'll see you're able to intersect them. They do not become obstructed. Again, go ahead and rotate the snap point until we get the light blue side facing us and place that down. Now I'm going to show you how this won't work if you do it in the wrong order. So we'll first go ahead and place our stone wall right here. And then we'll try to place that one right here and you'll see it is obstructed. So make sure you pick this up and go ahead and place this one first. And then go ahead and place this one again, rotating the snap point so that you have the light blue side facing you. So it should now look like that. They should be slightly crossing. We're going to head to one of our corners here. And we will again first place this one right here. And then you can go ahead and get one out right here and rotate the snap point and place it with the light blue side facing you like that. We'll turn right here and get out another stone wall and again rotate the snap point and place it like this. We'll go ahead and do the same thing over here in this corner. So we will first place this wall right here. Again, making sure you're getting that more forward snap point. Go ahead and place one right here after you've rotated the snap point and then place another one right here again after you've rotated the snap point. Once you have all of these placed, you can go ahead and pick up or destroy those thatch ceilings. Alright, now starting off over here on this side, we're going to surround this little section of the build with thatch ceilings. So just follow along as I place these. So you should have that now. We're going to turn to this side and we're going to skip these four foundations right here and surround the rest of this side with thatch ceilings as well. So you should now have that. Now we're going to come to one of our ends over here and between where we have these two high pillars, we're going to get out a thatch door frame and rotate the snap point using whichever key or button is appropriate for your system and place it with the light blue side facing you. Add one more on top of that. And we're going to go ahead and do the same thing over on the other side between the two high pillars over here. Now on all of these remaining spots where we just placed the thatch ceilings, we're going to go ahead and place a one high stone wall. Again, first rotating the snap point so you have the light blue side facing you. And then once you have all of those placed, you can go ahead and pick up or destroy those thatch ceilings. Next, we'll add some wooden catwalks starting off right here where we have this stone pillar. We'll place one just like this. Go ahead and do that at this stone pillar right here. And you may need to rotate the snap point using whichever key or button is appropriate for your system. Just make sure you get it facing like this. We're going to turn over here and do the same thing right here on this stone pillar. And we'll do the same thing right here. We're going to work our way over to the other side of the build and do the same thing right here on this one. As well as right here. We'll do the same thing on each of these on this end. And then we will add another one facing like this right here and one more facing like that right here. Now starting off right here, we're going to add one more wooden pillar on top of this stone pillar. We'll do the same thing right here. Here on the end, we're going to add two wooden pillars. 
We'll do that on this corner as well. We'll add one more wooden pillar on the next two stone pillars. We're going to go ahead to the other side of the build and add one more on this stone pillar right here. As well as the next one. And then we will again place two more here on these ones on the end. Next, we're going to come over here and we're going to place another stone wall right here on top of this one. We'll place another one right here. Turn the corner and place another one right here. And place one more right here. Now we're going to go all the way around the build and anywhere where we placed a stone wall flipped around, we're going to add a wooden wall on top of it. Next, we're going to come to one of our spots where we have the thatch door frames, and we are first going to get out a wooden catwalk and place it just like this. Add one more to the right of that. Now we're going to get out a stone double door frame and replace each of those thatch door frames with the stone double door frames. And then just go ahead and fill those in with a reinforced double door. We're going to go ahead to the other end over here and do the same thing. And now while we have those catwalks out, we're going to go ahead and turn over here where we have this opening and place another catwalk just like this, as well as one right here. Next, we're going to come back in here where we have this wooden pillar right here and add one more on top of it. And we'll do the same thing right here. Now we're going to head over to one of our side sections and here on this back side we're going to first add a sloped wooden wall right and then on the other end we will add a sloped wooden wall left. We're going to go around to the other side and do the same thing over here. All right, now here at one of our entrances, we're gonna go ahead and add another wooden wall on top of this one, as well as on top of this one right here. And then we'll add a wooden double door frame right here in the middle and fill that in with a reinforced double door. We're then going to head to the inside of the build and go ahead and open that double door so that it points outward, go back outside and replace that double door frame with another wooden wall. And you'll see that your doors will remain floating. Now we're just going to go ahead to our other entrance and repeat this step. Next we'll come back in and add another stone wall on top of each of these stone walls we already have placed. Now starting over here we'll add another row of wooden walls going along this side. We'll come to the other side over here and just place one wooden wall right here and do that again right here in this spot. Now we'll go to our other side and we'll add another wooden wall right here in this spot. We'll skip this area and add another one right here. Come around to the other side right here and place one more and then finally one more right here. Next, we're going to go ahead and get out a wooden ceiling and we're going to place it so that it hangs over these wooden walls just like this. Add another one to the right of it. Then we will get out a wooden double door frame and you're going to rotate the snap point using whichever key or button is appropriate for your system until you get the one that's placing on the wall. Go ahead and do that again right here. And then in the middle, go ahead and do the same thing this time with a wooden wall. We're going to go ahead and repeat this step on the other entrance.
Next, we're gonna come in here to the inside of our build and right next to where we have these stone walls, we're gonna get out a wooden double door frame and place one just like this so that the dark wooden side faces you. Go ahead and add three more on top of it. Place four more to the next spot to the right of that. And now add one more on top of these stone walls, just like this. Next, we're gonna go ahead around to the other side over here and just do the same thing. Now here on the outside, we're first gonna go ahead and place a thatch ceiling coming out from this double door frame. Then we're gonna get out a wooden catwalk and rotate the snap point using whichever key or button is appropriate for your system so that you get it pointing like this. Go ahead and drop that down and you can then pick up or destroy that thatch ceiling. Now we're gonna go ahead and get out wooden ceilings and add one hanging in from the wooden wall and just take five more back. to give us six total. We'll head back out here to the front and get out a wooden ceiling again. And this time we're gonna be crossing it over the wooden wall like this and do that one more time to the right. Now we're just gonna go ahead to the other side over here and repeat this process. Next, coming back in here, we're gonna get out a wooden fence foundation, and you're gonna to wanna to place it in this spot that is between the two wooden ceilings. Go ahead and get out another one, and this time rotate the snap point using whichever key or button is appropriate for your system until you get this one that is a placing immediately to the right. Go ahead and get out one more, and again, rotate the snap point, and place it on this one that is immediately to the left. So you should have three wooden fence foundations. Next, we're gonna go ahead and get out a wooden pillar, and we wanna make sure we're getting the one that is snapping to that center fence foundation, and it should be centered on that catwalk. We're gonna go ahead to the other side of these fence foundations and get out another wooden pillar. And again, make sure we're getting the one on the middle fence foundation, just like that. Now we're gonna turn and get out more wooden fence foundations and just rotate the snap point until you get it placing sideways in line with that middle fence foundation. And continue doing this until you're hanging off the back of our ceilings. Now we're gonna go ahead and get out more wooden pillars and we're gonna go ahead and add one at every point where the fence foundations meet. Just like that. So now we're just gonna go ahead to our other part of the boat over here and repeat this step. All right, now back where we just placed those three wooden fence foundations, we're gonna get out a wooden wall, and you're gonna to wanna to find the one that would be placing on the fence foundation that is farthest from us. Go ahead and flip this wall around using whichever key or button is appropriate for your system so that it looks like this. Now it's important to note we flipped that wall, we did not rotate the snap point. Go ahead and get out another wooden wall, and this time you're gonna be looking for the one that's placing on the middle fence foundation, and go ahead and place that down. And then go ahead and get out one more, and this time you're going to be looking for the one that is on the fence foundation closest to us. And again, you're going to flip this wall so that it faces like this. Once you have all three of them placed, you'll notice that they are evenly spaced out between each other. Now we're going to go ahead and get out wooden walls again and add one on top of each one of these fence foundations going down the middle of these ceilings. And it doesn't matter which way they're placing. So it should now look like this. We're gonna go ahead to the other side over here and repeat this step. Next, we will get out a wooden catwalk and you're gonna to wanna to make sure you have it placing on the middle snap point right here. So you may need to rotate the snap point using whichever key or button is appropriate for your system 
to make sure you get this middle one. Once you have that place, we're gonna go ahead and just add a line of these going behind it. Now we're just gonna go ahead to the other side and again, repeat this step over here. And then once you have all of these placed, go ahead and add another wooden pillar on top of each one that we already have placed on each side. Next, we will come back in right here and get out a sloped wooden wall left. And you're going to rotate the snap point using whichever key or button is appropriate for your system until you get the one that is placing like this on that furthest wall. Then go ahead and get out a sloped wooden wall right and you should be looking for the one that's placing on that closest wall. Go ahead then and come in the middle and get out a stone railing and place it right there down the middle. Go ahead and add stone railings on top of each wall going down. And then just go ahead to the other side and repeat this step. Now that we have all of that done, we're going to come back in here where we place those wooden double door frames and we're going to add two more on top of each one. All right, so for this next step, the first thing we're gonna do is come in here to the very top where we have these two wooden ceilings that cross over and go ahead and remove these. Go ahead and do that on the other end as well. Next, we're gonna go ahead and get out wooden stairs and we'll hang one down from each of these wooden ceilings just like this. And you can go ahead and do that here on the other side. Next, we're gonna get out a wooden ramp. And you'll notice when we go to place this ramp attached to the wooden wall, that you'll see a little bit of the wooden stair sticking through about halfway up the ramp. That is how you know you're getting it on the right snap point. Go ahead and place that down. And here on this next one, I'll show you again. Now you do not see that stair sticking through about halfway up. And here, if we rotate through the snap points, now you can see it. So you wanna make sure you're getting that one where you can see the stair sticking through. Go ahead and add these on each one of the walls. Again, making sure you're getting that same snap point. And then go ahead and hang one down from each of those. And if you get anything that is red and obstructed, that'll be how you know you did not get the right snap point. Now here on the very end, you will not be able to place this, so don't sweat it right there. Go ahead and repeat this step over here on this side. And then once you have all of those placed, go ahead to the other end of the build and repeat this process over here, starting off with your stairs and then placing the wooden ramps. Then once you have all of these wooden ramps placed, go ahead into the stairs and switch them all to ramp. All right, next we're gonna come in here to our end where we have those wooden double door frames. And right here on the left one, we're gonna get out a sloped wooden wall right. And go ahead and rotate through the snap point using whichever key or button is appropriate for your system until you get the one that is replacing the double door frame. Go ahead and get out a sloped wooden wall left and do the same th thing here on the right side. And now we'll just come over here to our side where we have this opening and fill this in with sloped wooden roofs. Go ahead and repeat this step on the other end of the build.
All right, now to start working on our tower, the first thing we're gonna do is come in here to one of our open sides. And on that second stone foundation, we're going to place a wooden fence foundation. Go ahead to the other open side and do the same thing on the second foundation. Then in front of that foundation, we're gonna go ahead and place a thatch ceiling and add one to the side of it. And go ahead and do that right over here as well. And now we're gonna get out a stone dinosaur gateway and snap one to each of those fence foundations that we just placed. And now you will leave these thatch ceilings in place. We're going to use them on our next step. All right, now first here on one of our spots that does not have a thatch ceiling, we're gonna place four high stone walls. We'll go ahead and do that on the other three spots that don't have thatch ceilings. Now here next on a spot with a thatch ceiling, we're gonna go ahead and place four high thatch door frames. And do this on the other three spots. Now on these spots that have fence foundations, just be careful and make sure you're getting it on the snap point that lines up with that other door frames we already placed. So they should mesh together. Now that you have those placed, we're gonna go ahead and get out stone door frames. And we're going to rotate the snap point using whichever key or button is appropriate for your system until you get the light blue snap point, which is placing on the thatch ceiling. Go ahead and place that down and add three more on top of it, again, rotating the snap points. And do this on the other three spots. Once you have all of those door frames placed, go ahead and get out a wooden wall. And we're just going to replace the thatch door frames with wooden walls. And then once you have all of those replaced, you can go ahead and pick up or destroy those thatch ceilings. Next, we're gonna come in here above where we have these walls and get out a thatch ceiling. And we're going to hang it over the walls just like this. And go ahead and place two more to the side of it. And then three more out in front of those. Go ahead and repeat this over here. Once you have those placed, we're gonna come underneath our thatch ceilings and get out a stone stair. And you're gonna rotate the snap point using whichever key or button is appropriate for your system until you get the one that is placing like this, hanging inward through our wall. Go ahead and do this under each one of these thatch ceilings. Now we're gonna go back up top and that first row of thatch ceilings that is hanging over the wall, we're gonna replace that with stone ceilings. And then once you have those replaced, you can go ahead and pick up or destroy the outer line of thatch ceilings. Next, we're gonna come back in here and get out a wooden double door frame and place it on top of that stone wall. On the middle two spots, we will add a stone wall. And then we'll place another wooden double door frame right here. We're gonna go ahead and do the same thing right over here. And now we're gonna go to the inside of the build and hang a stone wall down from each of these ceilings. Now we're gonna come to the side of this stone ceiling and place a wooden fence foundation on the side of it, just like this. Go ahead and place a wooden pillar coming up from the end of that fence foundation, and then drop stone pillars down from that until you reach the ground. We're gonna go ahead and do this again right here on this side, as well as on the side of these ceilings over here.
All right, now we're gonna come back here to the side of this stone ceiling and get out a stone railing. And you may need to rotate the snap point using whichever key or button is appropriate for your system until you get it on the side of the ceiling like this. Go ahead and place three more here at the front and then place one more here on this side. We'll do the same thing over here. Next, we're gonna get out a stone wall. And again, you may need to rotate the snap point, but you wanna find the one that is replacing that wooden double door frame. Go ahead and do this in the other three spots as well. We're gonna go ahead and add a line of stone walls on top of these. And then we're going to head over here to this side and we're going to again replace these wooden double door frames with stone walls. So first here we will replace these three. And on the middle spot, we're only gonna replace the top one and the one below it. We're gonna leave that one for now. Go ahead and do the same thing right here. And again, replace these three. And then just do this over here as well. Next, we're gonna go inside of our top here and we're just gonna place a ring of stone ceilings going along the inside of these stone walls. And then you can go ahead and fill in these center four spots with thatch ceilings. Now that we have that done, we're gonna come back out here and get out a stone pillar. And we're just going to attach a stone pillar to each spot here between the ceilings and it's just gonna basically be attaching to those stone pillars that we already have placed. So you'll basically be adding three on each side, just like that. Next, we're gonna come in here and place a thatch door frame between these stone pillars. And we're gonna go around and do this on each spot. Next, we're gonna go ahead around and place a thatch ceiling out in front of each of these, just like that. Once you have those thatch ceilings placed, we're gonna go ahead and get out a stone railing and you're going to rotate the snap point using whichever key or button is appropriate for your system. Until you get this light blue snap point, go ahead and place that down, and that is snapping to the thatch ceiling. Go ahead and place one of these in each spot. And then once you have those railings placed, we are now gonna go ahead and get out a stone door frame. And we're just gonna be replacing the thatch door frame that we already have. So go ahead around and do this on each spot. Now, once you have all of these replaced, you can go ahead and pick up or destroy the thatch ceilings that are on the outside of the build, leaving the ones that are still there in the center. All right, so now that we have that roof done and supported by our outer walls, we're gonna do something here real quick on the inside of the build. First, we're gonna come in where we have these wooden double door frames, and you can go ahead and remove all four of these on each spot. So the easiest way to do it is to obviously delete the ones on the bottom, and then if you're able to reach them, just go ahead and delete the ones on top. We're gonna go ahead and do that right over here as well. Now, once you have those removed, we're gonna come over here and get out a wooden fence foundation. And we're gonna place it right here on the edge like this. And on this spot, you can go ahead and just snap a stone dinosaur gateway right there. We're gonna move over to the other side and again, place our fence foundation right here. Go ahead and place your stone dinosaur gateway. And for this one, we will fill it in with a reinforced dinosaur gate. Now 
Now we're gonna come back here at the top where we have the thatch ceilings and we're gonna get out a wooden double door frame. And you wanna make sure you're getting the placement that is kind of light blue so that when you place it, you get the dark side of the wood. Go ahead and add two more on top of this and just go around these thatch ceilings and place three high on each spot. Now we're gonna go ahead up here and get out a stone ceiling and just place it so that it overlaps in the middle like this. Go ahead and do that on your other three sides. Just like that. Now go ahead and get out a wooden fence foundation and place it right here on this side of that stone ceiling on all four. And now we're gonna go ahead and get out stone pillars and snap one to each side of that fence foundation and then just drop two more from each of those. And go ahead and do this on the other three sides as well. Next, we're going to come back in here and get out a wooden double door frame again and just add one more on top of each one that we've already placed. Now that we have those placed, we're going to go ahead and get out a stone door frame and first place one here on the side of one of our stone ceilings. Place another one here on the front, making sure you're getting it on the ceiling, not the fence foundation. And place one more here on this side. Go ahead and do that on the other three as well. And then finally, we're gonna go ahead and get out stone walls. And first, we're going to drop three down below anywhere where we placed those stone door frames. And then once you have those ones placed, you can go ahead and replace all of these wooden double door frames with stone walls. Now, if you go to place this one here at the very bottom and it doesn't place, go ahead and rotate the snap point and try again. And you'll see there, now it'll place. Once you have all of these stone walls replaced, go ahead inside of the build and climb up there and get rid of those thatch ceilings. Next, we're gonna fill in this topmost part with four stone ceilings. We're then gonna go ahead and get out a wooden fence foundation and place one right here. Add another one over here on this side. Add one over here on this side. And add one more right here. Then on the corner, we're gonna go ahead and place a stone pillar and drop three more down from that. Go ahead and do that on the other three corners as well. Now we're gonna go back up here to the top and in the middle spot between the two ceilings, we'll add another pillar and we'll do that on the other three sides. Finally, now to finish this off, we're gonna get out stone door frames and just place one on each side on the ceilings. Next, we're just gonna go ahead and add some stairs. So first, we'll obviously add a stone stair right here in front of our doors on this side. We're gonna come here to the middle and place a stone stair in front of each of these gaps to fill it in. 
We'll also place four stone stairs going across here at this entrance. Place another one over here in front of these doors. And then we'll go ahead to the back sides of the build and first fill in this little spot right here with a stair and do the same thing right over here. Now here on one of our back sides, we're gonna go ahead to one of our catwalks and just drop a rope ladder down from it, just like that. Go ahead and do the same thing on this one. And we'll go around to the other back side over here and do the same thing on both of these. Now we will come to one of our ends right here where we have our entrance and do, a, do the same thing on this catwalk as well as this one. We'll move our way up a little bit and hang one off of each side of this catwalk right here. And then we will hang two more off of this topmost catwalk. Next, we're gonna get out wooden railings and place one on each of these wooden ceilings, just like this. And finally, we're gonna get out a trophy wall mount and place it right here on this pillar. And you can fill this trophy wall mount in with whatever trophy head you would like. So just go ahead and copy what we did right here over on this entrance. All right, so next we are going to place what is essentially going to be the garage doors for our dino storage area. So the first thing we're gonna do is get out a wooden catwalk and you're gonna place it right here on this foundation. Now, once you have that catwalk placed, go ahead and get out a giant stone hatch frame and rotate the snap point using whichever key or button is appropriate for your system. But you're gonna be looking for this snap point right here where you have those brackets on the back side. You will not be able to do that without the catwalk. The catwalk is what allows us to actually flip it and place it in that direction. You can then go ahead and pick up the catwalk and it will remain. So we're gonna go ahead and add another catwalk right here on this foundation. We'll back up a little bit and get out another giant hatch frame. And we're gonna be looking for this snap point right here where we have the brackets on the back side and the side of the hatch frame is overlapping with the original one we placed. So go ahead and add that. And then again, go ahead and pick up your catwalk. Now all that's left to do is fill these in with giant reinforced trap doors. And you'll see you can open them up and block this gap as best as we can. All right, now on the inside of the build, we're gonna go ahead and start adding our crafting stations. So the first thing we're gonna do is come here to this corner and we're actually gonna place our electrical generator right here. So we'll get it out. And we're just gonna face in this direction and just kind of try to line this thing up with the wall, just not making sure we're not going through this wall. So just place it right about here. That looks good. Now we're gonna get out a straight electrical cable. So this one right here. And you'll just barely be able to see that small green sliver there up against the generator. But that is gonna let us know we're placing it right here. And then go ahead and add another one right here. Again, you can just barely see the green. Go ahead and get out your electrical box and place it right here. Now we're gonna go ahead and get out our chem bench and just cover up that electrical box with our chem bench to kind of keep this place looking neat right there. All right, now here in the same room, we're gonna go ahead and place a few more things. Starting off, we're gonna get out a wooden ladder and just place it on one of these foundations so that you're able to climb on it. Go ahead and jump on that, look down a little bit, jump off and pick it up. This is just allowing us to place things straight. Go ahead and get out your industrial forge and we're just gonna walk this as close to the back wall as we possibly can get it. And then as well as walking it as close to the side wall as we can get it. So right about here, go ahead and place that down. We're gonna go over here to this gap that we have right here and get out our fabricator. And we'll just bring this as close to us as possible, as well as taking it to the back wall as close as we can get it. So right about here, go ahead and place that down. And then once you have that down, you can just go ahead and squeeze out here. We're now gonna head over to this other room and place our storage as well as our grinder. 
So first what we'll do is look at this wall and place down a ladder. Go ahead and again, climb on that ladder, look down a little bit and jump off and pick it up. Now I'm actually gonna crouch to bring this even a little bit, little bit closer to us, but I'm gonna crouch down and then get out our vault. And we're gonna start off over here on the wall that is closest to our door. Just go ahead and walk it as close to the back wall as you can get it, as well as as close over here to the pillar. So right about here, go ahead and place one of those and then just keep placing these in a straight line, just walking over and placing them. Just make sure you stay straight. Don't touch anything other than walking sideways. So there we go. If you fit those in pretty tight to each other, you should be able to get eight total on that side. We're now gonna face in this direction and place a wooden ladder again so that we're able to climb on it. Go ahead and jump on that wooden ladder and just look a little bit down here and jump off. Now we're gonna leave this ladder in place for now. Go ahead and get yourself out your grinder. And we're just gonna try to line this up centered with this section right here that we have grooved out for it and just place it as tight to the wall as possible. So you just wanna make sure it's centered. So right about there looks pretty centered. Go ahead and place that. Go ahead and get back on your ladder and this time look down a little bit, jump off and you can now pick up your ladder or demolish it. Go ahead and crouch down again and get out another vault. And we're gonna walk this all the way over to the place by the door and place it the same way as we did the other one, just as tight to the door and as tight to the back wall as you can get it. So right about here. And then we'll go ahead and get out another one and walk it to the other side and do the same thing on the other end in this corner over here. All right, everyone, that is gonna do it for the building portion of this video. Now I am gonna go ahead and apply a quick paint scheme to a little bit of decorating and of course bring our Thames in. So if you guys wanna see what it looks like with all of that done, stick around for one more second. All right, everyone, so like I said, I've gone ahead and applied a quick paint scheme, done a little bit of decorating, and of course, brought in our Thames and put them in our garage. So as always with these Viking builds on the outside, I've painted all of the roofs with the mud color. I've also painted all of the accessory pieces of wood with the mud color as well, such as the catwalks and pillars. These main wooden walls, I've painted with the tan color, and I've painted the details on them with the mud color as well. And then all of our stone has been painted with the white color and the details on the walls and the door frames and whatnot of the stone has also been painted with the mud color. The only other thing for the paint is here on the side. I've painted these double doors with the mud color and with the white color for a little bit of the detail. As far as decorations go, we just have some torches here framing our entryway. Same thing over there. And then in this sort of like middle intersection of the build, We've got some crops here framing that wall and a little bit of clutter over here in this corner. As we head inside here, we'll open up these giant trap doors or close them, I should say. And inside here, you see we have a few of our gathering tames. So I just went with stuff that we're able to fit inside of this garage. Also have their feeding trough over here and then just a little bit more clutter around the build just to kind of give it a little bit more life. I also painted this gateway and the giant trap door and the, the dinosaur gate, I should say, and the giant trap door with the mud and white colors as well. We'll go ahead and open this up. And of course, like we like you saw this place, we have our forge and all of our crafting stuff in here. Got a little bit more clutter just up there and up here on this side as well. But most of this area is pretty packed with crafting and storage stuff. All right, everyone, that is going to do it for this video and build. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope it was easy for you to follow along and get this build on your arc. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button. Leave me some feedback in the comments below. And if you're new to the channel, go check out some of my other builds. And if you like what you see, subscribe for future arc Let's Build videos. Also, make sure you check out the description for a link to my social media. And with all of that said, I just want to tell you all thank you so much for being here today, checking out this video, and have a great day.